So this is what we're faced with before we even get to the lawn. Then we get through that. Look at this beauty. I know I say it every week, but this is now officially the thickest grass I have ever cut. The camera doesn't really do it justice. It's all laid over on itself, so it's even thicker than it looks. Would you believe there's a path under here? Now first I've got to make some access by removing this branch. Probably could use a handsaw, but I like using this mini chainsaw that Kevtech sent me. It's, um, it's a bit of fun. It keeps surprising me how handy it is. Here's the uh, last bit of the branch here, which has quite a bit of girth to it. Eventually get through it, and then we have access to this nasty, nasty yard. And I'm going to start revealing this path. <laughs> Now you may notice I've got some gators on my legs today. Uh, they're the snake protects gators. Uh, grass is quite long here. Always a chance of a snake, so I'm sure the sounds of the machines would scare them off, but uh, it gives you a bit of peace of mind wearing these things. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in them. That is a path cleared. Clean this up quickly just to give you a bit of a reveal. I know we're going to start making our way slowly through all this stuff here. I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but we'll just see how it goes. Now we've had rain overnight, so it's quite wet here, so it's going to be hard to get these things immaculate, but we'll do what we can. So we've got zero planned for today. I think I'm going to get beaten by the weather. It's been raining overnight. We have not got the best conditions, but I don't know. We might start. We're going to start in this section here. Just going to clear it section by section at a time. Otherwise, uh, it just gets overwhelming. So we'll start here. Now, as some of you all know, I've changed to the speed feed heads, not the actual uh, Echo brand, because I couldn't get any at the shop, but I've got two off-brand ones, different brands. One of them was vibrating sort of violently, so I had to swap it here. Uh, that was pretty unfortunate, but uh, the other one's good.
probably gonna regret this. I'm probably destroy my camera, but let's get you in real close. Who would have known that was there? I didn't even know there was a drop off here. That's how long the grass is. It's it's deceiving. Like it all looked the same level before I started cutting, but there's quite a drop off. If you want to know why I'm bouncing it up and down like that, when you come down on it, it seems to um destroy it better than slashing it sideways like that when it's this length anyway I'll show you in real time For me anyway, now I'll show you the difference when you're just sort of slashing it. I mean, you do what you want to do. The slashing seems to take the top off better, um, but getting down, that sort of coming down at action seems to work well for me anyway, but I don't know, that's what I do. I'm not saying it's the right way, but that's what I do. <laughs> Haven't put much of a dent into it. We've done that little path there. This section here. Um, I'm very aware of the weather. I'd like to get some of it sort of looking better and I think this is gonna be a multiple part video just because of the rain, but I might get the mower out here and try and mulch this up a bit more and I don't know, we'll see how we go. I'll just tidy up this little section here first and then I'll grab the mower and See if we mulch it up a bit more, but I think I'm going to have to come back in a couple of weeks and give it another go over.
I'm going to get some stickers made up so if anyone wants to do a sticker swap I can chuck some um, stickers on here or oh, god forbid if we get a sponsor maybe we can plaster it with uh, their name All right, we made some hay there. Once again, I think I'm just going to have to do this over a few days, just when I've got time. Uh, can't commit a full day to it at the moment, just too busy, but uh, we'll get done what we can today. And then I think once I finish it, I'll come back in a couple of weeks, go over it with the skag when I know there's nothing uh, that can damage it in it. Let's give this mower a little test. this is quicker than the trimmer because I'm still going to go over it after with the trimmer to mulch it up so. but I like using the trimmer I like using this I just use a bit of everything So I just went behind here to give you an idea of how long and thick the grass is. You can't even see the mower there. That is insane. And I'll show you a little path. How good is this mower? Look what it just cut through. Pretty much with ease. Just straight through. I don't know why, but I got to thinking today. I wonder if I could just like transplant an even more powerful motor onto this thing and just see how crazy we can get it.
magpie having a good time getting the worms looks like there's a garden edge or something here i'm gonna try and uncover that but we would never know it the go is but it goes all the way around there around there back around but it doesn't return so i don't know what this area was interesting Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to finish this bit here uh, before the rain started to set in, but it is in the second video. Uh, I thought it looked like a cool shot anyway. Who needs a uh, pressure washer or a shovel? This will do. All right, so it's just started raining, which is the worst possible timing for doing this. I'm going to have to leave that there at the moment. We'll come back to it when uh, we get some dry weather. This is what we've done. All that section there, uncovered this path. I'd say it's about, it's probably 40% of the yard. We've still got that back section back there, which will be fun because that is the longest, longest, thickest, so that's going to be in the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you know when it comes out. Oh, here comes the rain. I don't know how... Uh, I think we've got a couple of days of rain, so I don't know if I'll be able to get here for a couple of days, but I will be coming back. I will be finishing. And then a couple of weeks after that, I will come back and go over it again to make this stuff try and disappear. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I've got plenty of other videos if you're interested, so make sure you go check them out.